Thunder Fortress 2 is a popular Team Fortress 2 mod game mode. It uses custom made maps and requires a plugin to play. Thunder Fortress 2 is a plugin that's currently still in development. It is in closed beta and isn't available for public use. Because of this, there are roughly 6 servers in total running this mod. Thunder Fortress 2 was created July 2012. So what is Thunder Fortress 2? Thunder Fortress 2 is a mod game mode in which a team of 8 people search a map full of monsters and hazards for 8 collectibles in order to win and escape. Every round starts the same. 8 players on the server are selected from a point queue. They are moved onto the red team while everyone else is put on the blue team and into a lobby area to sit out the round. At this point everyone on the red team receives a voting dialogue. The vote is to determine the difficulty of the round. The vote options are Normal, Hardcore, and Insane. All the classes have small individual differences and perks, but they all pretty much play the same. Unlike the regular game, every class runs at the same speed. The only usable weapons are the melees, and they all function identically apart from a small few exceptions. The goal of Thunder Fortress 2 is to collect all the collectibles to either win the round, or open up an exit area that can be entered in order to win the round. Some maps allow the red team to kill the blue team as a reward for winning the round. While collecting collectibles, players must avoid monsters from horror games, creepypastas, and SCP articles. The most notable monster is Slenderman, a teleporting tentacle monster that kills players who look at him for too long. There are sometimes special rounds where guest monsters take center stage. For example, one round can consist of only the angel statues from Doctor Who as the antagonist. Many Slender Fortress 2 maps have repeating and maze-like elements making them hard to navigate. Maps are generally large, dark, and foggy. Most maps are ports of Slenderman and horror game maps. A select few maps disregard Slenderman in favor of unique monsters every round. As stated earlier, collectibles are needed to win. Collectibles are usually pages themed after the pages from the game called Slenderman The Eight Pages. Collectibles usually spawn in random predetermined locations. To collect a collectible, players must hit the collectible with their melee. Making progress towards collecting collectibles increases the difficulty and likelihood of death. Once all eight collectibles are collected, the exit doors on the map will open up or the round will simply end in a victory. Speaking of Slenderman, Slender Fortress 2 was actually inspired by the indie freeware game Slenderman The Eight Pages. Slender Fortress 2 retains many mechanics of Slenderman, including the page collecting aspect, many of the maps from Slenderman games, and Slenderman himself. When a red player dies, they are moved to the blue team and into the lobby area. Blue players are sometimes summoned to the play area. After a short grace period, blue players are spawned as scouts, heavies, and spies in the play area. Their goal is to kill red players. They have low health, deal low damage, are restricted to melee, and automatically die once the timer displayed at the bottom of the screen runs out. Thunder Fortress 2 has several noteworthy mechanics. Displayed on the HUD are two bars. One bar slowly decreases and indicates the time between player blinks. Players can blink at any time and reset the bar by clicking reload. The other bar indicates the electricity left in the flashlight. Players can toggle flashlights on and off with the secondary fire key. Electricity slowly goes up when the flashlight is not in use. A stamina and sprint mechanic was also added. To run significantly faster, players must hold down their action key. A player's stamina depletes over prolonged use of sprinting and by jumping. Thunder Fortress 2 tweaks various mechanics in order for a more immersive experience. Players can't see their own health. Lobby players can only talk in team chat, meaning active players can only see chat from their own team. Spectating players is disabled on some servers. Instead, a chat command is used in order to walk invisibly alongside the active players outside the lobby. The lobby, where blue players spend time, has an arena area. This location grants players use of their secondary and primary weapons, as well as allows players to deal friendly fire damage to each other. Its intended use is to allow players to deathmatch each other until it's their turn again to play. And that's basically Slender Fortress 2 in a nutshell. A horror game themed game mode. A game of beating the clock while things that go bump in the night chase you. Thanks for watching. Like, 
fave and subscribe. Sweet dreams. <laughs>